Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So Lizzie and Mika were two children that were in season four of The Walking Dead. They were sort of adaptions of two co comic characters, two characters from the comics. They were both like siblings and one kills the other. But in the comics, they're both boys and their names are Ben and Billy. But Lizzie and Mika are basically the TV version of those characters, and they're I think they're 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 in the show from the premiere of season four, and then in episode fourteen of season of season four, The Grove, that is when Lizzie pretty much goes crazy and kills Mika, and she's with Tyrese and Carol, and they're trying to figure out what to do about Lizzie because she's pretty much pretty much a psychopath. You know, she's an innocent child. But she's also a psychopath, and if they don't put her down like a like a wild dog, like a, like a, like an animal with rabies, she'll eventually just die a worse death. She she thinks the walkers are her friends. Eventually, she'll just the walkers will kill her. The walkers will kill her and rip her apart, and she won't understand why, and she won't understand it. Is it not better to just shoot her in the back of the head? <laughs> and that's why Carol did. She she made her look at the flowers. <laughs> yep, rest in peace. <laughs> and um yeah, and then the way they handled Mika's death was, you know, they were they're, they're trying to be really careful about it. They just barely showed her 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 pale face and her dead body and there's like a little blood. And then Lizzie's got this really soaked bloody knife. And both actresses did both actresses did good, but the actress that played Lizzie did a really good job playing a psychopath. Like that was awesome. I, I love The Grove. The Grove is probably one of my favorite episodes. It's also an episode where one of my favorite characters, Tyrese, actually gets more than two lines, which almost never happens on any episode of the whole show. <laughs> on the time he was on, he no he this in this episode he actually has a decent supporting role and actually has lines and everything. And it's a good episode for Carol. It's just a good episode overall. The season four is a really good season, but I love The Grove. The Grove is probably in my top ten favorites. But, yeah, but I liked both characters. Both I liked what they added to season four. Um, I, I like, I mean, the act, like I said, the actresses, the actresses did a good job. And, I mean, you know, the... I, I'm still glad that they got killed off. Like, I'm still glad that they got those deaths because it made for such a really good episode. And there's only so much you can do with children. I mean, season five was a pretty dark season, and, and season six was a dark season. You know, it's just it was just going to get crazier and crazier and more brutal. And with like a baby like Judith, you can just sort of hide her you know, in the background, but for Lizzie and Mika, you have to sort of drag those characters everywhere or have them be in some safe place off screen or something. So they're kind of sort of in the way of the show, so I think they did need to die. Plus, it's a really cool moment in the comics, and, and they use those characters to adapt that comic part of Ben and Billy, so I like that. So, um, overall, I'm glad that they died. I don't think that either of them needed to live longer. I'm fine with their deaths. I'm fine with the episode and everything like that because like I said, you just you can't you can only have kids do so much on a show like The Walking Dead. And I, I really did like both of them. I really did like both characters. I liked L Lizzie because she was just such a such an interesting psychopath. And Mika was really sweet. I mean, she was really good-natured and good-natured characters tend to get killed, but I mean, she, she was really sweet and kind and she was like one of the hopeful characters, and the hopeful characters always died really fast, especially in the early four, five, six years of The Walking Dead. But, I mean, it sucks that they died, but at the same time, I like their deaths, and I, I think their, their deaths work in the show, and it's just such a really good episode and just such a strong moment for, for Carol. And it, it, it affects her for years and years onwards, so it's not for nothing. And it affects Tyrese in a big way. And it, it's just such a devastating, crazy, awesome episode of the show. So I wouldn't want to change it just because I, I like the characters. And the kids do need to die sometimes in The Walking Dead. Sometimes sometimes they just get in the way. And you they get plot armor and stuff like that, like Judith. And 
you know, do you want your you want all the kids to be your Judiths and your Clementines? No, you probably just want Judith and Clementine, and then kill most other kids, something like that. I don't know, but yeah, I think they're just they're, they would have gotten in the way if they had kept living longer. So I was okay with their deaths. But if you disagree, that's fine. Um, I did like their their characters. I liked what they added to the show, but I, I think they lasted long enough. They lasted almost a full year, like pretty much a full season, so I'm okay with their deaths. Anyway, that's all I have for this video, so with all that said, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 726 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 800 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts, every bit of support matters, and is really, really appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 800. Anyway, with all that said, I'm Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.